you're watching the OnePlus Nord N10 5G disassembly. And if you need any tools, there are links in the description. Let's start off by removing the SIM tray. We need to use a hairdryer or a heat gun to heat up the back plate so we can loosen up the adhesive underneath. And then we're gonna use a plastic pry tool to pry the back plate off. Now once we have the back plate loose from the back housing of the phone, we're going to press down on the fingerprint reader over here and separate that from the back plate. Here's your back plate and it is plastic. You have some graphite film on the inside. Once you remove the back plate, there are 15 Phillips screws which need to be removed. Once the screws are removed, we can separate this camera lens cover. Here's a better look at that. Next, we need to take our pry tool and place it in between the back housing and the frame of the screen. And we're gonna run it along the edges and pop the catches off. So here's that back housing and it is plastic. You have your NFC antenna located over here, as well as some graphite film. You have these antenna lines over here on the back housing. And taking a look at the other side, you also have some antenna flex cables on the top as well as the bottom. And you have your physical keys for your buttons on the side of the housing. Now we're going to disconnect the battery cable. Once that's disconnected, we can go ahead and disconnect the rest of the cables. There are two wire cables over here in the corner we need to pop off. And there's some copper tape over here covering the connector for the front facing camera, which we need to peel off. Now we can disconnect the front facing camera cable. Now you have one Phillips screw located over here in the corner, which needs to be removed. And then you have one plastic catch over here on the corner of the motherboard, which needs to be bypassed so you can lift up and remove the motherboard. So taking a closer look at the motherboard, you have your 64 megapixel main camera as well as your 8 megapixel ultra wide lens camera located over here and your 2 megapixel monochrome and macro lenses located over here. And if you want to disconnect those, the cable just pop off like this. You have a secondary microphone located over here on top and you have a copper tape over here sitting on top of the shields. So peeling back the copper tape, we can see a thermal pad over here on this chip and another chip located over there. You do also have some rubber gaskets around these connectors. Taking a look at the back side, you can see your proximity sensor located up here on top, your SIM card and memory card reader located over here, and you can see a copper tape over here on top of the shields, as well as some thermal paste residue over here. Peeling back the copper tape, we can see some thermal paste on top of the processor, as well as a thermal pad on top of the memory, and a small thermal pad over here on top of this chip right there. Now in order to remove the speaker assembly, there are three more Phillips screws which need to be removed. One here, one here, and one located right there. Once those screws are removed, we can lift up and remove the speaker assembly. Here's a better look at that. Now we have a flex cable over here on the bottom. We need to disconnect. Just pop it off. And then we have two wire cables we need to pop off. Now there's a plastic catch over here in the corner. We need to bypass so we can lift up and remove the charger port board. And some adhesive over here on this corner. Let's pry it off. So taking a closer look, we have a rubber gasket over here around the charger port, as well as your headphone jack. And your microphone is located underneath this sticker over here. So your microphone is sitting underneath this shield over here. And taking a look at the other side, you can see there's a very tiny hole over here where the sound travels through to get to the microphone. So as far as removing the battery goes, you have a pull tab over here to help you pry the battery off.
Here's a better look at your battery. So once the battery is removed, we can see your screen flex cable over here, run through this opening over here in the mid-frame. So if you ever have to replace your screen at this point, you'd have to heat up the front of the phone where the screen is, pry your screen off your mid-frame, get your new screen, reapply it back to the mid-frame, making sure you run your cable back through the opening over here, and then you'd reassemble your phone. There's also this flex cable over here, which connects your subboard to your main board on top. You have your vibrator motor located over here, as well as this flex cable over here, which connects your speaker assembly to your subboard over here. You have the flex cables on either side of the mid-frame for your buttons. You have the thermal paste over here, which helps transfer the heat from the processor to the mid-frame. And there's also a copper heat pipe over here, which sits in between the mid-frame and the screen itself. And you have your earpiece speaker located over here. And both your earpiece speaker and vibrator motor are held down with adhesive. So if you have to replace those, all you have to do is just heat them up and pry them off. You also have a filter over here on top and one on bottom for where the microphone holes are. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put the phone back together. Once all your screws are back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply your back plate. Flip over your phone, power it on, and you're done. As far as repairability goes on this phone, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. It's not the easiest phone to do repairs on, but it's definitely not the hardest either. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time.